Welcome back, gentlemen. I've got another video for you today. The dark truth behind promiscuous women by this social media commentator called Christine Grace Smith. And she actually seems to be on the uh, actual RP side of things, but a little more conservative. So let's see what she has to say. Uh, let's see what people are saying on the comment section before we watch the video. Just say no to high body count. Even if she swears that she's changed, you will forever be looking over your shoulder and sneaking peeks at her phone to confirm it. Every time she says she has to work late, you'll be wondering if it's not worth it's not worth the effort, boys. That's actually good advice, right? And that's why men ultimately care about the body count. Not so much the body count, but they care about the decisions a woman has made and the kind of emotional roller coaster that she wants to be on and that she's chosen to be on, right? So, okay, let's see what this girl has to say. Woman be saved and turned into a wifey. Um, look, <laughs> what do I know? Context Ooh. is relevant here, Ooh. you know? 20-ish body count, you know, is she... I'm gonna do that again, that was terrible. Okay, let's watch now. Joel, Joel Skinka 89? Can a 20-ish body count woman be saved and turned into a wifey? Um, look. <laughs> what what age? What, what age is she at? <laughs> I know. Context is relevant here. You know, 20-ish body count. You know, is she 60? Is she 20? I think that makes the world of difference. Even still, 20 is quite high. Um, you see how hard it is for a woman to give advice? on how to lead <laughs> she's trying to give dating advice to a man and it's hard for her because she's never actually had to lead another woman she's never been in the game she doesn't understand it she can't grasp it she only understands her perspective as a woman she's like ah like once you made a decision you, you really can't take it back like you're kind of you're kind of stuck with it right emotional damn it look ultimately i think on the issue of body count it all comes down to real actions so let's say I did a reaction actually to an Alexander Grace video recently on this topic. You know, it, it comes down to what her, are her actions saying? Because a woman can say, oh, I had this whole phase for five years and I slept with 20 people, um, but now I've changed. And, you know, that's all good and well, but realistically, can you actually see a change? And I think a good indication of whether that change is present or not is accountability, you know? And I think a very easy way to tell is okay, so do you know they've got a 20 body count from them? Or do you know from someone else? And if so, if you do know from them, what's the context of you finding out that number? Because I think if you ask a woman and she's very defensive about it, chances are... Emotional, <laughs> Yeah, she's keeping it real. She's keeping it real. Probably not wifey material because that would... There you go, okay. Perhaps That's actually good advice. suggest that she's quite insecure about it and that could be because she doesn't know what to do about it whereas if you have a woman right. who's very remember low self-esteem she's got low self-esteem she needs constant validation she needs constant attention she needs you to constantly be on top of her and if it's not you it's going to be some other dude right some other dude that she finds attractive some other dude trying to hit on her at work right that's the reality that's that's the reality you face when you've been in the game and you've dated right you understand how low value women move right sorry low self-esteem women move which essentially makes them low value when it comes to being a wife and being a mother, right? Guess what? You have a low body count. You listen to your mother. You like to cook. You like to clean. You find those things beautiful. You find those things fulfilling in your life. You want to do it for another man. Great. You look good. And you're a high value woman. Therefore, you're going to have high, high self-esteem because you know your worth. You know your value. You don't just feel it. You understand it. You know it upfront about it in a way that she acknowledges that that is shameful she's disappointed in herself for being silenced without any real <laughs> yeah that what was that cut bro substance <laughs> for the claims that have been made <laughs> that was a funny cut and yeah i mean he's had to go over to rumble hasn't he because he was completely demonetized what this well, is just how do we get here the state of it isn't it this is the state of the world that that we're living in it's a real shame. It really is. But yeah, no no update, I'm afraid. What is she going about? All right. Get on Jasmine with it. Blackman. Blackham, sorry. Jasmine Blackham. Hi, Jasmine. I was on a podcast with Jasmine. Oh, <laughs> In nice. today's society, how do you think men could behave better? 
How do I think men could behave better in today's society? Oh, this is this is a good question. Let's see. Let's see. I think this is speaking as someone from London and the current state of London right now. I think men could perhaps give each other better role models and I'm aware that that's very hard in a world where increasingly all fairly sensible ma male role models are stigmatized. For example, someone like Jordan Peterson being called a misogynist and what was it he 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 got called recently um it was like a cult leader or something like that so you know i'm very much aware that it's just it's a very complex issue you know how can men improve when anyone who's seemingly a ray of light for men is completely demonized um but there are issues with our young men of today at least in london oh, because they seem to think that the to answer hear. to things is to carry a a weapon and you know go out and unfortunately stab each other and stab damn shorty what kind of man you choosing is this just everyday news or is like these are guys you're choosing but I, I know i know london there's like a high stabbing rate that's unfortunately, funny unfortunately children uh that's what's happening uh, so she's saying okay men need to seek better role models that's not a bad idea, right? But the truth is, as a man, what you don't want to do is you don't want to over-idolize a man. You don't want to follow everything they say and just completely agree with all of it without questioning why. Why it's true, right? Where it comes from. You always want to be critically active with your thoughts so that you know how you're going to plan and prepare in the situation and the environment that you're surrounded in so that you could take most advantage of watching what another person does and implementing it into your life, right? Never idolize, for example, Jordan Peterson. What are his focal points? What are his strengths, right? Jordan Peterson, he understands what men are going through. He understands how society is essentially gyne uh, becoming more gynocentric towards men, trying to make men weaker, right? He understands the problem, right? His solution is do what? Clean your room. These are all good. He gives good habits, right? He goes deep, deep down into the science and all these things. But what are Jordan Peterson's flaws, Right. He's not a strong man. He doesn't know how to defend himself. Right? He's a capable provider because he teaches. He's smart. He's intellectual. But he can't defend himself. And he's definitely older. I understand that. Right, But he's never learned how to defend himself. He's never actually lived up towards that physical masculine imperative, which is very, very important for men. You can't just be intellectual. You have to be physically active as well. Or else you're going to end up just like Jordan Peterson, swallowing pills to make up for your inadequacies as a man. Right? Because you don't find you don't find you 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 take the struggle and all the hate around you instead of working it out instead of working out inside a gym lifting a dumbbell or punching a bag or, or sparring with another man right sharpening your weapons finding pride and confidence within those things you decide you know what I'm a psychologist I'm gonna take these pills because chemically they make me feel better right this is their plan people these are demons and then same thing for Andrew Tate right. You need to do what you're supposed to do. Andrew Tate is Andrew Tate is the same side as this is the is a different side of the same coin, where he lives up to that phys, physical masculine imperative. He has good values that he puts on men today, but before he was spreading a lot of that like you know oh be like an OF model with a PhD, the pimp and hose degree, right? All these things that are very haram, haram that will not lead you towards becoming a better man. Right, they would actually you'll slowly lose yourself, slowly start becoming addicted more towards gambling or even him like Andrew Tate, like putting money towards like gambling and investing in gambling and investing in other making money, profitizing off other men gambling. These are things that you don't really want to be in if you want to be the most fulfilled man possible, right? But these are risks you're willing to take. So there's flaws with every single role model that you have as a man. Understand. It's good to listen to other perspectives of men that are very popular out there, but never idolize them. That's what religion is for. That's what God is for, right? Every, every man has their own path. Follow your faith, right? Follow the things, the intrusive thoughts that you have. Learn to reshape them into positive things that will help you in your life. Learn to combat all the negativity out in your life and be grateful for something out there that puts you on this earth and gave you the family that you have and that you must rekindle and you must reconnect and you must lead as a man. That's the beauty of life.
finding beauty in the everyday struggle, right? Isn't that what J. Cole said, right? Beauty in the struggle. Look, I'm not really the person to comment in on the this. Success. I don't really think it's fair for me to tell men how they should improve, how they should improve, because the truth is, I'm not a bloke. So how on earth can I comment on what men should do here in my feminine I ignorance? Wow, bro! What? Yo, women like this actually exist? Are you kidding me? Yo, this girl just became a national treasure after that comment. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> Yo! You can say that without getting canceled? God damn. <laughs> Shout out to you. That was actually really good. That was actually really good, actually. Damn. You know, it's... Keeping it real. Keeping it 100. I'm the that. voice that men should be listening to. I can only comment on my experiences, which is how it is to be a girl. And, you know, if girls want to take advice from me, great. And I will always give my best advice to women that is in your best interest. I know a lot of women out there probably think that I'm attacking women and slandering women, but it's not the truth. I'm just acknowledging the state of us as women right now. Um, and I think we're better than that. And I think we can make a change. So Wow. All right, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm subscribed, liked up, subbed up. Go follow this girl, Christine Grace Smith. You're doing great and amazing things for young women out there. Appreciate your work. Shout out to you. Yeah, I don't really think I can give much guidance to how men can behave better because I'm, I'm not a man and I wouldn't expect any man to listen to me. Bro, is she married? Where's the ring? No, um, Where's the ring? How is she not married? She got, she got the, the nails on. She looked good in front of the camera. She, she's pushing out a good, a good message, actually. We like it's what great. I have to say. Great. Because I, I do care about girls and I think we can be better than we are right now. So I will do my best to help us move forward in that direction. Prince of Ariosa, if the UK gets too much, would you ever live somewhere else? I would love to live somewhere else. Um, unfortunately, I don't know any other languages, so I think that makes it quite difficult for me. Now, I could learn another language 100%. Uh, so yeah, I mean, maybe somewhere like Eastern Europe. I quite like Damn, it. bro, you can't, okay, bro. She said Eastern Europe. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, this girl wants to be Russian. God damn, she Russian to be Russian. <laughs> that's that, that's that feminine energy right there, bro. Now I'm thinking about it. Heard from Eastern Europe in terms of, you know, family life is still a really big thing over there. Quite like the values that I've heard. We, we've got someone who's Eastern European who works here in the studio, and I, I quite often hear from them what life Ooh. is like over there. So somewhere like that, maybe. Mm. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't explored enough of the world to know where else to go. So I'd Yo, this girl is ready. This girl's this girl's literally she's literally putting herself out there in the most like feminine way possible, which is I haven't traveled the world out there as much, right? So I still need to learn. I want to be led. Like that's great, yo. <laughs> Yo, millionaires, bro. Yo, that's a wife. That's a national treasure. <laughs> Go for it. Go crazy, bro. Have to do some... Le learn a little bit of Russian. Privet, right? Splasiba. <laughs> Best middle vodka, Dimitris. Exploring first and visit some different countries uh, to see where it would be a good fit. Um, but no right. doubt, the way the UK up. is headed right now, it's uh, it's not really, it's not going well, guys. <laughs> I don't think anywhere in the West is going well right now. Oh, God. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is hilarious. One of my editors here at the, the studio, one of our editors, has said, hypothetical question. If a co-worker ate your ice cream, what would be your reaction? My reaction... All right, that's a low level. That's a low level. That's a low level question. Let's go. Um, Rupert... Damn, there's that many pauses in this video? Doing? Robotrix, congrats to you. All right, that's it. I've never been to Manchester, uh, and the fight is in Manchester. So All right, oh, that's it. Uh, great video, W video. Shout out to Christine Grace Smith, the dark truth behind promiscuous women. She really nailed that, bro. I'm not going to lie. I've never heard a woman that I agreed more with than Christine Grace Smith. If you end up watching this, it'd be great to collaborate and actually do an interview. That'd actually be pretty dope, right? But uh, yeah, no, shout out to her. Forget, don't forget, guys. If I provided you with any sort of value, entertainment, right, or something that you could actually apply to your life, 
drop a like on the video, all right, or subscribe. Jesus.